Today, I picked a book that a lot of you, I, I had a feeling, would have already read, and I found that out this morning when I had it in my hand. And this is one of my favorite oh, books. Oh, no. And I love it too. I love this book. And I love the fact that you already have listened to this story at least once. Because I'm going to ask you to think very deeply today. And it's nice that all of you have some really good background knowledge about this book before we start. We're actually going to have the same learning target that we had yesterday. And we talked a lot about yesterday, so I'm not going to discuss it with you. But the learning target is I can use context clues and background knowledge to infer meaning from the story to understand the author's themes. Remember, raise your hand if you remember talking about this yesterday. Yes, I thought you would. So I'm just going to put this up here so we can kind of remember it, but we won't, don't need to go into that again today. So, Ella, you using your schema, your background knowledge, to, to understand this poem. And that was actually part of our learning target. I can use context clues and background knowledge. And so when you were sharing some of the things that you already knew about Martin Luther King Jr., you were using your schema. And I know that all of you, so even though he was killed, his dream lives on. What was that dream that lived on? Um, she had all people equal and all people. Okay, can you tell me more about that? Like, we don't have, like, separate schools and lights and, like, separate things on the lights. Let's go down to the rest, though. It says, we lost this king to a rush of hate, but his dream lives on. What was the rest? So I'm going to meet with today. That's Matthew, Kelsey, Lives, and Joe R. And thoughtful response. All of you in the same notes. I think. 